Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The MRFA program is going to be buy global and make in India to procure 114 fighter jets for Indian Air Force. 18 out of 114 fighters will be directly imported from foreign OEM. The next 36 fighter jet will be made in India. The payment for the same will be done partially in Indian currency and partially in the foreign currency. This will constitute the first batch of MRFA containing 54 fighter jets. The next batch of the order will consist of 60 fighter jets. The execution and completion of 60 fighter jet order will be the responsibility of Indian firm which will be in joint venture with the foreign OEM. The payment for this order will be completely made in Indian currency. This will further aid to increase the indigenous components in the fighter jet up to 60%. Now there is a new update coming related to the MRFA program according to which Air Force will issue an RFP in mid of 2023. Earlier we have reported that Indian Air Force is studying the responses to the RFI issued in April 2018 and the air staff qualitative requirements for the current proposals are being finalized prior to seeking government approval. Once Indian Air Force finalizes its ASQR, MOD will issue RFP followed by price negotiation. If we are very optimistic, the entire process is going to take at least 2-3 to three years which will take us to the end of 2024 or 2025. Once the deal is signed, it might take another 2 years before the selected OEM starts delivering the fighter jet to Indian Air Force. Again, this is very optimistic a speculation which can further delay. It will be interesting to see if MRFA would be able to take off successfully in the given timeline. While there is a huge list of contenders for MRFA program, the competition is mainly between two fighter jets which are US F-15EX and French Rafale. The latter has an upper edge as Indian Air Force is already operating 36 Rafales and have hugely invested in its modification, pilots training and buying weapons package. At the same time, Indian Air Force has no experience of flying American origin fighter jet. The per unit cost of F-15EX is $87.9 million, while the per hour flying cost is around $32,500. At the same time, the price of Rafale ranges between $100 to $120 million per aircraft in most basic configuration, while its operational cost hovers around $28 thousand US dollars for every flight hour. Clearly F-15EX has a cheaper per unit cost but it has high operational cost. Capable of flying at Mach 2.5, the F-15EX is world's fastest fighter aircraft. It carries 13.5 tons of weapon load and has a range of 1850 kilometers and can strike deep inside enemy territory. Rafale is capable of flying at just 1.8 Mach and can carry 9.5 tons of weapon load. The F-15EX also features a quadruple missile rack called Advanced Missile and Bomb Ejection Racks or AMBERS with each rack capable of carrying 4 missiles. Now with 4 AMBERS under each wing and 1 under belly, F-15EX can potentially carry 20 long-range AIM-120D missiles plus two short-range AIM-9X missile on its wingtip rails, taking the total count of missile it can carry to 22, which is massive and no fighter jet at present possess that capability. So the F-15EX clearly has a better range weapon payload capacity than Rafale. However, it comes with a huge RCS. While the RCS of Rafale varies from 0.5 to 2.0, the RCS of F-15EX varies from 1.5 to 3.5. Further, Rafale has better maneuverability than F-15EX. Rafale has overall better performance when it comes to BVR and dogfight. Both the fighter jets features an integrated electronic warfare suite and the heart of F-15EX electronic warfare capability is TEWS that is Tactical Electronic Warfare System just like Spectra for Rafale. So the question is, does Indian Air Force need a fighter like Boeing F-15EX? So India already has 260 Su-30 MKIs heavyweight fighter in the category of F-15EX which is made in India including its engine. The fighter jet has been heavily customized 
and integrated with weapons like brahmos rudram saw astra and a huge investment has been made in future the indigenous uttam ac radar is also planned to be integrated and there's a possibility of engine upgrades as well the su30 mkis have been criticized for its size that makes it easier to detect and so will be the case with f15 ex though it will have a better rcs compared to su30 mkis due to use of composite further adding a new type of fighter jet in the inventory means setting up of a new mro that is maintenance repair and overhaul facility for them which is again an additional logistic burden for indian air force the us is known to attach its strengths to its all defense steel the dependency on us 414 fighter jets would be a strategic mistake what f15 ex can do is achievable by a super sukhoi upgrade at much lesser cost with no additional logistic burden even though rafales are expensive than f15 ex it is still a better fighter even from the perspective of geopolitics this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector